Hello everybody, um, I've been seeing a lot of people lately on YouTube and doing the, oh, this is my this deck, this is my this deck. And so today, I'm going to be showing you my, uh, my Winged Beast deck. And I do have the, I have it set up, so I show you my traps, my monsters, and my spells. Now, uh, There's 19 spells and traps, and 21 monsters. I just counted. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start with my monsters, then I'm going to do my spells and traps, and then I'm going to do my spells, then I'm going to do my traps. But, uh, the first part of this is going to be my harpy cards. And so I'm going to start off. One, harpy lady, the original, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just a good harpy lady. It's not that good of a condition, just uh, regular. And then I've got two Harpy Lady 1s. Uh, ability gives 300 attack to all wind type monsters. Now, uh, that would be good if it didn't affect your opponent's monsters, but I still like them. Um, here, I'll put these to the side. These are my monsters. I've got one Harpy Lady 2. Um, its effect is negate the effect of any flip effect monsters if this attacks. So if this attacks, uh, Face down defensive position monster, and it's a flip effect. The flip effect doesn't work. It's a good card if you uh, use it in combinations with the Harpy Lady ones and the mountains or some other kind of boosting. Then I have two Harpy Lady threes. Um, the Harpy Lady three cards are really good. Uh, if a monster attacks it, it cannot attack for the next two turns, which is really good. And put it in face down defensive position and trick your opponent. I did that with my friend a lot. One. Harpy's Brother. I don't have too many Harpy's cards, by the way. But yeah, I got a Harpy's Brother. It's just a normal monster, but it's a good basic attack monster. I'm not one of those people who tries and wins a duel on my turn. I try and have a little fun with it. One Harpy's Girl, which is the only reason I have it in this deck, is because it's a Harpy's card. Terrible, terrible card. But I just have it, just in case. And then Bird Face, which this is a Harpy card. I mean, some of you do not know what it does. So you're thinking, whoa, whoa, that's not a Harpy's card. Yes, it is. It's a fact. Um, it's a fact. Is if you can if you can read this, I'm not sure if you can. My hand's shaky. Uh, try and hold it a little steadier. Yeah, when this card is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, you can add one Harpy Lady from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. And the good thing about the Harpy's Ladies one, two, and three is they they all they say at the very first, the very beginning is this card's name is treated as Harpy Lady. So it's a really good card, um, but I don't have any of the Harpy Lady sisters and stuff. I traded that a long time ago. Now with the rest of my cards. One, Sonic Duck. Good, good attack. Kumara, mm, good card for sacrificing if you've got the option. Skull Red Bird, mm, decent attack. Rallus the Starbird, which is a really good card if you want. Uh, for a good strong attack. It's got 800 attack, 800 offense, but its effect is really good. It, uh, if it attacks a set, uh, monster with 7 stars, its attack raises to 14, it raises by 1400, meaning it would go to 2200 attack. Or a card with 2 stars, it would raise 400. I mean, it's, it's a really good card. Then I've got my winged Sage Falcos, which, uh, you can return, you you can return your opponent's face-up attack position monster that is sent to the graveyard by this monster as a result of battle to the top of his or her deck. Sorry, I don't really uh, keep the um, uh, effects in my mind, usually, for the monsters. I usually read them. Then I've got three Hain Hain cards. Really good flip. Oh, well, that one, there's the shifting of that. Three uh, Hain Hains are really good because their effect is... Flip. Select one monster card on here. <laughs> Flip. Select one monster card on the field, regardless of its position, and return it to uh, the card owner's hand. Really, uh, really nice card. Uh, really good to troll with. Two. Swift Bird Man Joe's. I really like Swift Bird Man Joe. If you tribute a uh, wind type monster for it, all spell and trap cards on the field return to their respective owner's hands. One rock from the Valley of Haze. If it's sent from your hand to the graveyard, it gets shuffled back into your deck. It's a really good card. I like that. I've always really like that card. And then Seamurg, Bird of Divinity, strongest card in the deck. 
It's not one of my favorites. I really like using the Harpy Lady since with Birdman, but it's the strongest card in the deck. And its effect is this card cannot be tribute this card cannot be special summoned. Sorry. If you tribute this card the, if you tribute summon this card, the tribute must be wind. While this card is face up on the field, both players take a thousand points of damage during each player's end phase. Decrease the damage each player takes with this when this happens by five hundred points for each spell and trap card the player controls. Which is really good because I got a decent amount of spells and traps in this deck. Alright, and now on to the spells. I've got two heavy storm cards. Destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Really good card, really like them. Two lightning vortex. Discard one card from your hand. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. I've used these in previous decks before. Really, really good and re reliable cards. Three mountains. Uh, increase the attack of all thunder, wing beasts, and dragon type cards by 200 attack. No, uh, by 200 for their attack. Rising air current, really good card uh, if you use attack based. Oh, uh, wind monsters gain 500 attack and lose uh, 400 defense. I, I, I like it. Then I got Twister, pay 500 uh, life points, and destroy one face off spell or trap card on the field. Then you got Griffin's Feather Duster. It's a good card if you need uh, life points. Uh, destroy all spell and trap cards on your side of the field. Increase your life points by the number of total cards destroyed times 500. Now that does not include Griffin's Feather Duster. Some of you may think so. Giant True Nade, really good card. Um, return all spell and trap cards on the field to their respective owner's hand. Premature Burial. I like this card. It's a really good card. Uh, pay 800 life points to get one monster from your graveyard. When either that card or premature burial is destroyed, they, the other one goes back to the grave. Share the pain. Really, really good card if you want to get rid of uh, one of your opponent's monsters. All right, and now for my uh, traps in this deck. Three because they are amazing, amazing cards. Dust tornadoes. You can destroy one spell. Oh, here, let me read the actual effect. Destroy one spell or trap on your opponent's side of the field. You can then set one spell or trap card from your hand. Really good to use on your opponent's turn. One, Red Jackie Break. Discard one card, destroy mo uh, one card on the field, not one monster. I, I always use it to destroy a monster, almost always. Especially when I'm playing against my friend who's using my deck. Uh, but I, he just got some, so we, we might be doing Skype duels later and stuff. I just realized on this thing... Uh, Part of that dual disc system's just... That's weird. Never realized that before. Negate Attack. Amazing, amazing card for uh, that. And then Hysteric Party. Uh, it's a continuous trap. Not a lot of people know about it, I wouldn't think. But what it does, discard one card from your hand and summon as many Harpy Ladies from your graveyard as you can. Really, really good card. That is my Winged Beast stack. About... Mm, a little less than half of it are Harpy Ladies, but that is how I like to roll with the Winged Beast deck, is with the Harpy Lady cards. Um, thank you guys for watching. If any of you wish to uh, duel me, sorry for the shakiness, if anyone wishes to duel me, you can hit up my Skype. It is, It will be in the link. All right, I don't know which one it is, if it's JBoy111222 or Mr. Space Potato. I like potatoes. Thank you for watching this installment of uh, my deck, my Winged Beast deck. Um, I will duel you. You can request uh, a deck or just want me to use my normal one, which I will not show the deck on camera because it's my deck and I don't want people knowing what I run. But uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.